So let's talk about how to build your own set for your favorite aircraft. If we look at ground handling folder, we will see the sets folder and the custom and default folders inside it. All sets file is just a text file what describes speed, position and other for cars and ground equipment. When we use explain and load or reload any of our aircraft, the ground handling plugin will try to find a set for this aircraft first in custom folder, next in default folder, and only after this it will take the default set. So I just load 737 aircraft and want to build my own set for it. We can use two ways to build own set. The first way is take the always ready uh, ground set from some other aircraft would have close to this aircraft configuration and just modify it. Uh, this is the first example. I open editor and open some of cars and just click update. When I down this uh, I can find uh, in a custom folder the file what describe a set for this aircraft. So next I want to take uh, the set from some another aircraft, for example A320, and uh, copy it to custom folder and just uh, give it name uh, from X737, like this. If I reopen aircraft now, the set from A320 uh, will be ready for use uh, for this aircraft. Sure, it should be modified because uh, uh, the configuration of A320 and X737 is have some difference. But uh, now we will try to use uh, that ready set. Yes, it's work already worked. And next uh, we can uh, make uh, some modification for this set for every of it uh, cars and ground equipment. Uh, but now uh, we'll talk about the second way uh, to build our ground set from zero, from always begin. So we see what X737 is close to F320, but not the, absolutely the same. So the way number two. I load aircraft and want to build my ground set from absolute zero. So let's open the set builder. Now we see what it have the default set. I want to delete. First I want to delete all cars or ground equipment from this set. So I want to add a ground power unit for this aircraft and I click add there is no point and we will add point for this and uh, so you should understand this is a zero point and this is a z axis and is positive and this is a zero point and this is the x axis and it is positive 
So if we want to put a ground powered unit at the north of uh, this aircraft, uh, we need to add X and Z coordinates. Now it's, it's 0, 0.0 X and 0 Z. We change some. Click update. Yes, uh, the marker uh, move. And click phase one and uh, just check is it a true place or wrong place for our ground power unit. So I think I want to add um, some position and want to add some angle, initial angle. Yes, like this. Uh, the next I want to be uh, to make uh, the wires and my connector um, place it just after uh, no slang gear. There is a uh, five animation that are there for each object, and you can adjust the animation uh, value for every of it any time. Now I'm trying to add uh, a value what describe how long will be this wire. The second animation axis uh, describe how high will be uh, our connector. First value is uh, animation value and second value is uh, time what need uh, to reach this animation value. For example, if the first value is 1 and next is 3, that means what we want to reach uh, mm, uh, this value, uh, 1 value, for 3 seconds. So now I tune the second animation axis and want to make my connector uh, in true place. So next I want to make a disconnection uh, when phase 2 I will click it. I add the next point and uh, add animation for it. Well, uh, while I will be 0 and I need about 1 second to reach it. So we can tune our animation axis as we like. It may change uh, during moving or when speed is zero, it doesn't matter. I think it's okay and I want some cone and some cone uh, around my ground power unit. I add uh, several points. I think it will be the one, two, three, four, five points will be good, and this point will be around the ground power unit. So I need all um, can place it at zero point, and I want to add some position for every of feet. The cone and chocks are static objects, it's uh, not for moving around the airplane.
So I think uh, all position is good. I want to try it. Let's click phase one. Okay, if we check our text file, uh, we'll see the, uh, the all full description of uh, cones and um, ground power units, what we just create. Let's try how it works. I think work well. And next I want to add a field track to the mm, our aircraft to our set. I click add for fuel and select it. And I want to it should drive under the right wing and when back. Okay, let's select and add first point. Add a position, something there, and now I will add uh, several position for field track road. The first uh, is for forward moving and next to the right. And next under the right wing. Yeah, something like this. Okay, we click phase one, but nothing happened. The reason uh, what we are not set speed for every point. First point uh, should have speed zero, but other points should have any speed uh, half meter per one second it drive. And next we should place a divider of phase one and phase two uh, after the last point. Now it worked well. And fuel track uh, will drive to um, last point. Yes, I think it's good now. So next I will add an animation point uh, with a zero speed. I will add uh, some values and times uh, for any of five animation axes and every time I should click update and uh, if I like, if I prefer, I um, may click phase one to check how it works. So now I prefer uh, first set all animation values and check how it works and next to tune it find for this aircraft, exactly for this aircraft. Now we uh, see what nothing changed because I'm still not set the main value for this uh, car, uh, this value. This one is turn all animation on. So next we need to fine tune all values. But before this I check all phase one. Yes, it's work, but need uh, tune it fine. I will change some axis value.
I think now it's good. Try to hold phase one again. Okay, now. So the next I want to make uh, the second phase. Uh, the first point of this phase uh, is make all animation uh, back to zero. So I will set the time, uh, how much seconds I want to make it zero. And second point with zero speed is uh, the height animation. Okay, it's work and hide it. Next, I want to add a, a driving point with speed. The first driving point on phase two uh, will have a speed two. And the last point, I think, uh, should have the same position about the first point. Uh, will be something like circle. 0.35. And speed value about 2. OK. So let's try uh, all from control panel. So I should note what we have a uh, face divider and when we click drive up or face one in the editor uh, all points uh, before this divider will be executed and when we click drive away or face two will be execute the all points after this divider. So the next important uh, is a time delay. Any of car in you set uh, have a time delay for phase one and phase two. And when you click uh, from panel from control panel drive up all, uh, every car wait this time and just after this start to moving. And when you click drive away, a recurrent set, uh, wait time for phase two, and uh, just after this start moving. This option is absolutely need if you build a complicated set to avoid the crossing of cars. And the last I should say what every car, every ground equipment uh, have ability to work with uh, DataRef custom or default DataRef value. To make this possible you should open the um, text file, uh, describe it your set, uh, find a DataRef description and uh, every time uh, I want to open for example, uh, you see what I use this data ref, and I set a value for it on every stage.
this is useful if you want to manage your doors from ground service or manage your ground power union or for example uh, show the fuel panel when fuel track is come on or oh, for some another purpose And show if you build a good looking set, uh, you can post it at our forum and attach the set file in your message. Thank you, thank you very much.